Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time we had just gone out of the dark place after fighting Nightingale with Alan Wake, supposedly. Uh, still, still a bit of still in a d bit of the dark, not to use a pun on that one. But um, we met up with uh, Alex, our partner, Alex Casey. And we were going to walk Alan to our car, but got sidetracked investigating the forest because, um, I guess, clearing the overlap caused the flooding to recede. So it opened up a whole different portion of the forest. And we got um, we got caught up with some side, side quests uh, involving nursery rhymes that the Federal Bureau of Control had apparently been... Um, I don't want to say researching, because they're the ones that started the whole thing. I mean, I guess it is technically research, but yeah. We we solved two of the nursery rhymes so far. Uh, I don't know how many there are, but... It seems like there's quite a few, because I, I believe it said there were some in Bright Falls as well. Okay. So I did make some further tweaks to the game. Um, and I'm really, really praying that it, this causes, um, or this stops the issues. Because um, I'm not the only one that's having these problems. Um, but when in doubt, Reddit is your friend. And we shall see. Okay, so where are we right now? So I guess we kind of want to start heading back this way towards the witch's hut. Um, which I'm guessing is that way. So let's investigate this area first. Wait, was this the way? Yeah, this is the way. here. Is it nothing? What's this? Another one of those lunch boxes. Oh right. These colored stones, yeah. Old Casey. Nine. Damn. I looked down at the rippling water. The moonlight danced over each and every little wave, a marching band of shimmering lights. Lonely and cold, I hugged myself inside. I thought of him. Then the surface of the lake calmed, and, like a spectral surprise, he was there. His face, smiling at me, reflected in the water. I looked up, not daring to believe it was true. But it was true. He was there. My love. My savior, my writer. <laughs> gets you right here, you know. Just, just gets you. So someone's in love with Alan Wake, I guess. Okay, so that we'll have to come back that way. Uh, shit, got to go around this. Oh, I remember where we are. Yeah, this area was flooded. I remember this now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hi. What's up, fellas? I 
right in the face. Oh, whoops. I kept missing there. Oh. Why? Oh. Monsters. And a lot less bullets, too. I... Oh, hi. Never mind. I got lots of bullets. My inventory is, uh... Yeah, I got 20 shotgun bullets. Damn, bruh. Damn, bruh. Alright, I think we can start using some of these. You okay there? What is that? I say minus two. What is that seven minus two? Okay, five. What, what did that accomplish? Eight. Another oh, was that? Box. That's a combination. Uh, what was it? Five, eight, and six. Rock, rock, tree. Okay. So five, six, eight. Let's try five, six, eight. No. So I guess six, five, eight. There you go. Are you one of us? Or one of them? I am my own person. Alright? No one... Inventory full. Eh? Wait, wait, wait. No, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. How can my inventory be full? Oh, because it takes up two. Man, what the fuck is this? I guess I'll use up the painkillers. Up there. There we go. No. Well then. Whatever. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done with this area. Right? Well, there was screwdriver stuff there, wasn't there? Or the sorry, not screwdriver. I don't know why I said screwdriver. Um, no, that's why I said screwdriver. Because there was a lock. There was a lock on both of these, if I remember correctly. Maybe we'll be returning. Maybe. Because I don't got no screwdriver on me. Um, however, it's still saying to investigate the previously flooded area as an optional thing. This is a really long optional area. Let's see if there's anything new in the witch's hut. Fight hut. Don't. Oh, wait. I can't tell if that was there before or not. Um, since we're here, might as well check out the general store. Unless there's there's baddies there. Well, here are people. I don't think 
there's anyone in here. Let's see if there's anything new. What is that? I can't tell where it's coming from. Is it here? Maybe behind? No, it's from inside the store. Oh well, doesn't matter. Um... Get back. Well, we have to cr go through the murder site, don't we? Yeah, we do. Fuck. Let's see how well he can see us. This pretty well. Got some good satisfaction. God damn, we're eviscerating these guys. I don't get how they can't see into the light, but they can notice the light. Does that make sense? That's just kind of weird to me. I mean, I guess it kind of maybe makes sense. This carving looks fresh. Does it? I mean, if you say so. Let's see if these... Uh... Right, I forgot about this area. I was going to say, let's check on that house or property, whatever it was, that denied us entry last time. Okay, there's nothing new. There's a note. Oh, never mind. They still won't deny entry? <laughs> oh, I just realized. Federal Bureau of Control Research Department lab Laboratory. I don't know why I didn't realize that before. Bruh. Bruh. I can hear it all the way here. What is that? Is it here? Yeah, it's getting louder. We've reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. Oh, it's that station. Why did I forget that was here? Same thing? Yeah. Can't do anything. Error failed to establish network connection. There's nothing we can do. What did that say? Warning, activity detected, AWE. Event in progress, Cauldron Lake. Nice. Yeah, probably when we went into the overlap. What is this stuff? 
can't do anything with it. There was nothing else new here, right? No. Um, I'm just gonna go here for a minute. See if there's anything new going on. No. Oh, wait. Cases. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff. Okay. Well, first off, the lunchbox. Found at the bottom of the waterfall, Cauldron Lake. There was a page of a story inside, but this is definitely not like the other pages I've been finding. Fan fiction? Oh, whoops. Cult stashes. Stash found near a creek in the Cauldron Lake area. Is the note inside to scare people off? Did they expect people to break into these? I mean, we're breaking into them. Cult of the tree. Triangle carving on the table where Nightingale was found. That would be cult symbols. Some kind of signature. Did they intend for this body to be discovered? Or just an idle carving? Cult's use of imagery feels almost commercial. Like branding. I'm guessing this is psychology. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Cult imagery is usually subtle, recognizable only by members. Here is the use of symbol. Here the use of symbols is enthusiastic. Eye catching. Okay. Um, let's see if we can do some weapon upgrades. Certainly have enough. So hold fire button again to activate auto fire mode. This significantly increases the rate of fire. Increases the magazine size by 50%. Land two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. Uh, I kind of like the increased magazine, considering we have limited inventory space. Um, so it'll go up by six, I guess. So 18. I mean, I'll take it. Saga had lost half an hour each shot she'd fired. But she was sure it must have been more than she had in her magazine. And yet, she'd not run out of ammo. As if the magazine had grown to fit more bullets. She fired again. That's pretty funny. That's actually really funny. You're not just getting like a different clip. It's magically she had extra bullets in the chamber or in the in the magazine. Just cause Alan willed it. That's really funny. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. So I'm sure I'm missing some more stuff out here, but I have a feeling we'll be back anyway. So it's not the end of the world. You ready to go? I guess so. Oh, we don't get to chat or anything? Um, let me check around the area real quick. See if there's anything here. No, I'm being forced to turn I back. I can't leave here yet. Yeah. Lots of work left to do. I mean, do you though? All right, let's go. Brat to Bright Falls. Mr. Wake. We're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? 
I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. I just said it's not the end of the world. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's a... Uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, uh -huh. I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Want to say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. She own um, she could have drowned. Interesting. Interesting. you'd like us to reach out to mr wake you've been gone a long time no no they'd be in danger it'll come for me okay let's talk about something else robert nightingale do you know him you were both here in 2010 the dark presence got him back then that's the last time i saw him 13 years me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently, but your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a crazy jumble, like, a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Ati, Ati, and the janitors. That's awesome. I remember. I remember. shot in the fucking tabloids had I already done the show was that a recording okay before we move on something something's actually been bothering me um, since the last episode actually um, so Alan's been in the dark place for 13 years and he's been missing for 13 years. But we 
when we played Control, we found documents of someone who looked like Mr. Wake and was harassing the wife. Again, I forget her name. I believe her name was Alice. Um, why wouldn't they believe that was Alan? You know what I mean? Like, if it's... If people have been seeing him. Like, I'm, he's been walking around harassing people. If they know what Alan Wake looks like, why would they assume it's not him? You know what I mean? Especially for the FBI. Like, FBC, sure, they can be like, that's not Alan Wake. But why would the FBI be like, Alan Wake's been missing? You know what I mean? I, I'm wondering if that's an oversight on, the, on, like, the plot. Like, the writers didn't... Didn't, uh... Didn't think of that? Sure, let's watch the video. Actually, before I do that... I felt a strange pull toward the TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard-boiled. The hard-boiled diet. Not just eggs. I mean, it looks like it's just eggs. Hey, I love Crackers brand. And salted only? Late night with Mr. Door. Got Nick Fury here. Uh, Odin Anderson. I'm guessing these are members of Poets of the Fall. Tor Anderson. Bob Balder. That's funny. Uh, I wonder if I can leave. No, I can't. I have to watch the thing. A warm welcome to Alan Wick. Alright, let's watch the thing. the Anderson brothers so and Bob Balder, I guess. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. Yeah? You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A, an auto-fictional thought experiment, a, a, a horror story, a postmodern detective story? Wait, this isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. <laughs> okay, you got me. Good prank, very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. Uh. <laughs> well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right. Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously, I found the, uh, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It 
reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. Uh, this is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this Hero's Journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. <laughs> Always talk of meta narratives. I'm expecting to disappear once this scene ends. And of course, he disappears. <laughs> Hello? I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home. To Alice. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's, let's break this down. So. Initiation is the name of the book that he's supposedly written about basically this game um and that's obviously like the dark place trying to fuck with him right i wonder if it's supposed to be like a counter to how alan's supposed to get out you know like he's fighting he's basically writing like the narrative the story of how he gets out that's basically what return was supposed to be about um, and we saw that at the end of the first game, where he was starting a new book while he was in the dark place called Return. Um, but it looks like, yeah, Initiation is this game. The story of this game. Return is not this game, if that makes sense. So I'm wondering if the dark place, to counter Alan writing Return, came up with this whole thing of like keeping Alan in the dark place further which actually further supports my theory that Saga and Casey like where we left off like after fighting Nightingale they're actually in the dark place they're not actually in the real world that kind of further supports my theory on this so I I'm calling it here again I've no idea. Pure speculation. Yeah, just... The old gods of Asgard. So I guess we need to go that way. So there's nothing here. These clothes sure do make a lot of noise. And I have no flashlight. I have no flash flashlight, yet I must see. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Uh, basement. In between with Mr. Door.
Let's check Old them. gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Six six five neighbor of the beast. That's pretty funny. Bro, you can't just leave a guitar sitting around like that. Like what the fuck? Like what the fuck, bro? Do you even care? Mr. Door. I was a mess. I'd never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? So here's the question. Is he interviewing Alex Casey or is he interviewing Sam Lake? Wait. Sam Lake. He was interviewing Sam Lake. Who's that guy? I can't see what that name says. Oh, Ati. You interviewed Ati? Bro's a legend. Interpretation of many words by Dr. Casper Darling. There he is. There's the man. My interpretation of many worlds. That's so funny. Zane classic in theaters. Oh my god. Bro, so many Easter eggs. Look at the cigarette case. It's the it's the board from control, the upside down triangle. I can't even read what that says. And the Is it Black Pyramid? Is there a photo mode? No, there isn't. Yeah, I can't I can't tell what that says, unfortunately. But it looks like it kind of says Black Pyramid. Anyways. Wait. Yes, it does. Black Pyramid. That's so funny. I love it. I love it. Alright, let's move. Oh, man. We need a code. Hey! I think I've been locked in! Anybody! Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Great. Uh, I don't think I saw anything with numbers. Oh, six six five. Right. Let's try that. There you go. Uh huh. Tell me more. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. Man, like this atmosphere is so good. Like, I, I normally don't get tense playing, but I'm actually a little tense. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. for air. This place felt familiar. 
a ghost of a memory surfaced about riding here for countless days. Okay. Interesting. So he was basically in the dark place and having a nightmare or whatever that's worth. Um, so I wonder if, if he was dreaming it about the book, about the game, does that mean like, did he just transition here or was he actually dreaming? You know, too many questions, too many fucking questions. It's still way early on in the game. I'm sure to be asking these kind of questions. Regardless, uh, I'm gonna stop it here for now. Um, I I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on playing. Um, I'm I'm hooked right now. I I'm really in the mood to play. In the meantime, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.